from the picture you just saw, one can say that they seem to live like a happy couple and they come from Kenya. But events that occurred in April of 2022 proved to everyone that they need they did have some issues going on as a couple because one of them turned up dead in a forest while the other one was the suspect of this shocking, brutal, gruesome crime. Evans had his own transport business and he was also a sand walker. His then girlfriend was named Catherine and she was a mother to one child and had been dating Evans to nearly four years. But majority of this time, the relationship was rocky because Evans was suspecting that Catherine was seeing someone else behind his back. But the crazy part is that Evans himself was not single. He was married and had his own family. Evans' suspicions became real to him when he found a photo of another man in Catherine's phone and he concluded that the guy was Catherine's new lover. He approached Catherine and asked her that she should delete the photo of the said guy because it was hurting him and he felt betrayed by this. But Catherine did not do that. She refused to delete the photo from her phone and that was when something switched off in Evans' mind and he wanted to kill the alleged lover, but after thinking about it, he decided that if he could not have her, then no man can. And that's when he settled on his murder plot to kill Catherine. Few days after the photo argument, Evans phoned Catherine and told her that he wanted to meet her so that they can talk about their issues. And Catherine agreed to meet him, not knowing it was a death trap she was walking into. He picked her up using his car and he had bought her her favorite wine. He asked her to drink it because it would help them relax and talk. After having a few glasses of wine, Evans noticed that she was completely drunk, that she was not even able to talk. And that was when he took out his belt and strangled her with it. But to make sure he did a perfect job, he then decided to recline her seat. Then he used a rope to strangle her again to make sure that she was really dead. After that, Evans drove around with Catherine's body for a while, thinking about how he was going to dispose the body. But since he was driving in an area that had forests and it was muddy, his car got stuck in mud. That was when he decided to use a knife he had in his car to mutilate her body. He then got out of his car, he took out her body parts and also the rest of her body, then covered it with mud. He found a way for his car to get out of the mud and he went home. Catherine's body was later on discovered since it had been exposed and the police were called. The day after the evil crime, Evans tried to take his own life by taking poison, but he could not see through his pain. He took milk, which helped him to vomit out the poison that he had taken. Later on, he told his close friend that he had murdered Catherine and the act was haunting him. The friend called the police who later arrested him and he was charged for his crime in the court of law. Well, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you did learn something, one or two. Thank you and goodbye and remember to always lead with love. Bye-bye.